Hello folks, this is 2020 October November paper 13 and the question number is 35. It is concerned with the chapter current electricity. As you can see from the diagram, it is said a metal cube has a resistance of 4.0 ohm between opposite faces. 10 of these cubes, so that means we have a small cube first. We have a small cube first whose resistance across its opposite faces is is as I said by it is 4 ohm so if I measure from here to here so this is the other face other face from here to here so if I measure from here to here it is uh, 4.0 ohm so 10 of these cubes so 5 here 2 here 1 here so it is 1 is this uh, 2 is this height and uh, 5 is along the length Ten of these cubes are put together to make a cuboid of 1 into 2 into 5 cubes. There is no extra resistance where the faces of the cubes touch each other. So this has been done for uh, ease actually, ease, easiness. Actually it's not a word called as easiness, it is ease for ease so that we don't have to consider any more, uh, any more things for calculation. So what is the resistance of the cuboid uh, when connected uh, between faces x and y? So we have to connect between this face, so this face and uh, this face, and we have to find the total resistance. So let's first uh, say that uh, this cross section, this area, let us say, this area of one of the cubes, cubes, let us say this area actually, this area, it is A. It is A. And uh, this length is, this length is uh, uh, L. This length is L, so L here, and a there if so we will have we will have resistance of one of them will be equal to r equal to rho l by a and that's equal to 4 ohm now if we consider this thing then the length will be l 5 times will be equal to 5 l so it will be 5 l let us see this is 5 l then the area will be this is area a and this is also a this is also a a and a a and a will be will be 2a so that's why our new resistance for the whole large body will be equal to r prime is equal to rho into rho into 5 l by 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 2a equal to 5 by 2 into rho l by a and this whole thing is equal to 4 ohm so it is 5 by 2 into 4 ohm equal to 10 ohm so as you go through the choices uh, choice number c seems to be the correct choice so uh, such type of questions often appear in our uh, paper one uh, sometimes it is wire sometimes it is cube sometimes uh, we flatten something into sheets and so on so everywhere the case is same we have to identify what will happen to l and then a and then do the necessary calculations